in one of my YouTube videos, I was uh, asked a question in the form of a comment about why I thought products were so much better made in the past than they are today. And uh, I have some thoughts on that. Uh, I think it mostly has to do with the role of engineering in manufacturing. In the past, um, and I don't know exactly when the, when the switch occurred, of course it would have been gradual, but uh, long in the past when the machines behind me were manufactured, there was no way to make a product last only a certain amount of time. Either the product was good and it worked and it lasted, or it was a piece of shit and it fell apart and it was thrown away. Well now, uh, everything that you see behind me is a hundred years old or close to it. Uh, of course, there were pieces of shit back then too, but they all have been discarded. They're long gone. So we only have the benefit of seeing the examples of the ones that survived. But uh, back then they had to overbuild it because the alternative was underbuilding it. Uh, and so you see things like a 500-pound uh, hundred year life vacuum cleaner uh, for a house and it's extraordinary it's incredible um, and they charged for it back then I mean if you do the inflation calculation those Spencer machines were uh, you know thousands of dollars in today's money and given the alternatives we have today people wouldn't pay that and the other thing is instead of selling a uh, thousand of them a year like Spencer turbine did in the 1910s uh, the central vacuum industry uh, today is selling hundreds of thousands of them a year to people who could never afford something built to the quality of these machines back here. Uh, so there is an upside to things not being made as heavily as they used to be. And certain things still are. Spencer Turbine is still in business and they still make machines very close to the quality that those are for applications that merit that kind of longevity and durability. But they price themselves out of all but the very highest end markets. And um, today, uh, when you have a less expensive alternative way of doing something, it would be foolish of you. Nobody wants to spend more money than they have to. And a hundred year lifespan for a product is just, just silly. Nobody buys something today thinking, well, you know, this will be around in a hundred years. It's hard to even think through your own lifespan, much less beyond your lifespan. So engineering has allowed manufacturers to hit a sweet spot where they say, okay, this thing is made too heavily, it never breaks. This component is made too heavily, this component needs to be beefed up. We want this whole product to last an average of however long. Uh, and most people seem to be fairly satisfied with a lifespan of 10 to 15 years out of anything. Anything in a house, a sump pump, a water heater, a dishwasher, a central vacuum. After 10 or 15 years, it's not considered new anymore. It's considered well used. And um, a lifespan far beyond that uh, is just not cost justified for most people. I still appreciate things that are made uh, extra heavy, overbuilt, and of course that's why I make room for all the apparatus in this garage, whether it's these vacuums here behind me or the, the drill press over there, which is a Craftsman from the 1940s, uh, built far heavier than a drill press today would be, um, and I barely use it. I would never wear out even a modern drill press for $150, but that is such a pleasure to use. Uh, or the air compressor, which, let's see, we'll go over and look at that. Behind the big Spencer, Actually, table saws in the way. There. My air compressor is 90 years old and uh, will run for another 90 years because it's so slow and so heavy. And the tank is a quarter inch thick. It'll probably never rust if you keep it drained. Um, but it's a tremendously huge, heavy, costly piece of equipment for what it actually does which in my case is blow up tires and blow the dust out of uh, motors. But uh, So it's not economical to manufacture something like that today for the use that it's getting. But uh, fortunately, we are able to save and keep using the vintage machines made when there was no alternative. Uh, something had to be made heavily. 
there were no engineers that would say you can make the tank half the thickness and the thing will still last 30 years. And today, I have to sell goods that make economic sense, otherwise I couldn't make a living. But for my own personal use, I enjoy the stuff that was made before then. And those are my thoughts.